people who are like really popular would be like, yeah, you think you're as cool as everybody else. You're such a loser. Why do you even come here? Welcome to junior high. Though these hallways may not look much different than they would have 20 years ago, some are arguing that how students treat each other between these walls has changed. Last year, my parents uh, were trying to get a divorce, which was finalized this January, and uh, they would tell me that my parents didn't really love me as much as they did, and they just basically said that, why am I here if my parents are getting divorced? Why? They would tell me that it's all my fault. Evan is now at a new school, one he says he enjoys coming to. His kind and empathetic personality attracted teachers, many of whom have asked him to show new students around. But not all students are like Evan. An estimated 13 million students are expected to be bullied this year, but it no longer occurs just in hallways like this one. Sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and the new website, forumspring.com, have enabled students to engage in what is now being called cyberbullying. There's so many more ways to, like, follow people home, like, when they're, so that bullying's not just in schools, like, it follows them home, and so they, like, they don't feel safe anywhere because of texting and Skype and Facebook, and it's a lot easier to spread rumors now, and so that people, like, you thought you were friends with are going to turn on you. So. And while a new documentary entitled Bully is generating media attention, junior high teacher Carolyn Place says change may not necessarily come from the bullies themselves. And it's not the bully because it's going to be really hard to change their, you know, um, attitude and their actions. And a lot of the victim, they did nothing to deserve it. But it's the 90% of kids standing around not doing anything to stop it. That's really what needs to be um, promoted and, and, and called heroes, because they are if they stop bullying. Trevor doesn't feel hatred or animosity and says if he could tell bullies one thing, it's that he understands. I know you can do better. I know what's going on in your life. I've felt it too. But I know you can clean up your act. If you can't, please try to clean up your act. And for place, it's the heroes like Trevor who make all the difference. Reporting for Miami Television News, I'm Molly Shanks.